Great. Okay. Well, welcome everybody uh, to our presentation for the Hague University of Applied Sciences. Uh, today's presentation is going to be led by me, Christine Ulig. I'm an international communications management on my third year. Um, yeah, communications management student on my third year. Um, and then here next to me, you have Colin, uh, who is also international uh, communications management student on his second year, right? Yeah. Perfect. Um, well, I'm going to tell you a little bit about what we're going to do today. So we're going to be covering living in the Netherlands. We're going to be covering the city of The Hague as well, but also how higher education works in the Netherlands. Um, what it is to study at our university's tours, how we like to say it, um, what happens after graduation, and then practical manner, matters that have to do with finances, accommodation, admissions, and so on. So yeah. All right, let's take a look at living in the Netherlands. So uh, as, as you're looking at this from Germany, I'm sure you've heard of the Netherlands. It is a smaller country with a population of around 17 million. And it is a very diverse country with around 200 people from from uh, with around 200 different nationalities situated within the countries. And it also uh, it's also a country full of international students with with a population of up to 90,000 and more uh, studying and living in the Netherlands. We have a bunch of different universities, including 14 research universities and 39 applied sciences universities. And these universities do rank with and amongst the best in the world. It is also a very safe country. It is uh, ranked the 20th safest countries in the world and it is very well connected. Three hours to Paris, five hours to London and six hours to Berlin by terrain. Also, it has one of the highest English proficiencies in the world of a non-native English speaking country. That about the Hague, about, about living in the Netherlands. Now to look at, look at the Hague. The Hague is a city known for its peace and justice. It's also called the city of peace and justice, which which mainly refers to its idea of having courts like the International Court of Justice and being a center of, of different NGOs and organizations that work around the topic of peace and justice and law. It has around 500,000 residents, 11 meters of, of beautiful, 11 kilometers of beautiful coastline and one third of the city is actually a green space, which makes it a very nice green and atmospheric city to live in. It is the seat of the Dutch government, which a lot of people don't know and a lot of people think is actually Amsterdam, but it is The Hague. And it is the second UN city after New York with, as I said already, a bunch of international organizations and also a lot of culture, which uh, you are out and allowed to explore at any time. Yeah, and now uh, in terms of the higher education in the Netherlands, um, there is a difference here in terms of that we offer two types of um, higher education. So you have the research universities and the applied sciences universities, and we are an applied sciences university. Here you can see a little bit of, a, I would say, a simple way of showing what they are. So research university, you can see on the left that normally they have three year bachelors, um, yeah, it's uh, you can't really read it also. Uh, but yeah, and then you have to do a master and you can go on to a PhD. The bachelor, the applied sciences one, you have three and four year um, courses that we offer programs and then you can go on to do a master as well. And I'm going to go a little bit deeper into both of them uh, in the next slide. If you could just turn to perfect and here just a little bit of like bullet points to just tell you the difference of them both. Most importantly, with both, uh, you can uh, you get a diploma. So they're both good. They're both important. Um, you come out with your bachelor diploma at the end of it. But the way that they are taught is different. So uh, the research university is more theoretical and the University of Applied Sciences is more practical. So jumping into the research university, uh, you can see as well that it's more about independent study. It has a lot of multidisciplinary projects. It's also uh, among the ranked universities as well because the research universities um, can be in the ranked ones. Um, and they also have a strong focus on the why rather than the how. The how is more that you see in the applied sciences. So in the applied sciences, it's a combination of theory and of practice. You're going to have more um, 
group work, more presentations, and also it's very much about the work experience. So that's why you have to do integrated internships and for us as well compulsory internships. So you come out with a little bit more of a uh, work experience. So if you're asking yourself what should be the best for me, um, it really depends on what type of person you are uh, and what you like best. If you like dialogue a lot or you prefer independent study and so on. So that's a little bit about that. And then on us as a university, like I said before, we're an applied sciences university and uh, we really are an international university. So we really want and we, we stress that every graduate leaves as a world citizen, which means that they really learn about different cultures because in your class, you're going to have a lot of people from different cultures, from different places around the world to learn how to communicate properly. Um, then here you have as well that uh, our education is challenging. Yes, of course, uh, but then you're also engaged and connected to the real world because there's a lot of projects from companies that come in and you really get to do work and practical work that has to do with that. And um, you also get practice by doing internships, group projects, large and small classes, and um, a lot of also you have practical assignments and you can do also an exchange, which is very fun. Okay. Let's take a look at some facts and figures regarding studying at TUA. So we have a total of 27 to 28,000 students studying with us, including 13% international students. That means around four to 5,000 international students. We have around 3,000 graduates per year, which study around at, at around four campuses in and around The Hague. We have our main campus directly located in the center of The Hague and then three others in Delft, Zutemir and Zuder Park. We have over 400 exchange partners which provide exchange opportunities for our students worldwide and we have students and lecturers from 150 different countries uh, studying and working at our university who really push on that international and inclusive aspect that Christine emphasized. These students and lecturers study and work at seven different faculties, uh, separated over 11 English bachelor programs and 16 and Dutch bachelor programs, four English masters, actually, yeah, four English masters and nine Dutch masters. And we have 29 research groups and centers of expertise, which engage in actually furthering the research and, and uh, the expertise on certain subjects that we want to focus on that are ingrained within our culture. Mm -hmm. And right before that as well, just wanted to say, uh, if you can, the other slide, you can go back, um, uh, that I think you said 45,000, uh, it's 4,500, just for the 13%, just in case for the number. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, yeah, what, what did I, yeah. <laughs> No, it happened. I was just like, just in case. <laughs> yeah, four to five thousand, not four to five thousand. That's that would be a lot. No, uh, thirty percent <laughs> of twenty-seven thousand. You can make that calculation yourself. <laughs> um, okay, now let's take a look at an academic school year at us. Each academic school year starting in September is divided into two semesters. These two semesters have normally two terms which are ended with an exam period. Each term lasts around six weeks. Each exam period can last between two weeks and you normally have multiple exams for that term that you that you do and the resets of that exam of that of that term you do in the term following. So as, as I mentioned before, a school year normally starts in September and ends the beginning of July of the following year. Like a normal school year you'd always have anywhere else really. Exactly. And then now for us, what we offer, what TUAS offers. So we really we have bachelor's, master's, we have exchange programs, and this is a little bit of where um, I would say, yeah, the, the topics that you can find it. So you, you can have we have bachelor's and all these programs in business, finance and marketing. Um, later on, I'm going to go into the specific what exactly we have, but then we have in public management, law and safety, IT, health and nutrition and sport social work and education. Of course, this is a both Dutch and English programs. Um, 
that we offer all of this and then management organization and then we offer the Hague Summer School and the Hague Pathway School, which are uh, different types of programs that we have. Uh, either they prepare you for a certain topic or uh, you take them, for example, when your um, diploma is not uh, sufficient enough to be able to get to the level to be able to do a bachelor program with us. So, yeah. And uh, in the next one, uh, I can quickly show you here. So we have these are the ones that are inter international bachelor's programs. So uh, you can see here we have international business. We have user experience design. We are in international communication management right at the bottom. But one thing that you can see is that there's three and four years next to each or almost all of the um, programs and uh, the difference between this is that we offer both these programs. So for example, we have international business as a three year and as a four year program. And the difference is that um, they both have the same amount of content. It's just that one is more condensed, so more more con yeah, compact, sorry. Um, and uh, and it's harder and the four year program is a little bit easier. So also depends on what your diploma that you have, whether you're eligible to go in or not. So sometimes you're only eligible to go for the four year program or sometimes you can go for both and you can choose whether you want to do three year or four, four year program. Um, but just so you know that when you go in and you see the three and four, don't panic. It's just a little bit to do with um, your diploma and your eligibility. But yeah. <laughs> And then uh, jumping in into a little bit of pictures about us, about the facilities that we have. So you can see here that uh, we offer a lot of um, sports as well. So there's different types of things that you can take part on in our gym or that you can then uh, through clubs that a university also has contact with join in. Uh, and then in the next one, I can show you a little bit about our main campus. Here you can see on the left, that's the main campus. That's the um, atrium, if I'm correct, right? The uh, how it's called and um, very nice. And then uh, you can also see that. Um, yeah, people, people and students and how it looks like. <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, this then we have here uh, the campuses uh, that we also have and we have um, we have various campuses uh, like Colin mentioned we have in Delft we have in Amsterdam I think uh, also here in the Hague we have two as well and on the bottom right you can see our sports campus uh, it's a brand new one um, very nice. All the international sports management students go there. Um, so that's very nice as well. And we have restaurants. We have good sports facilities, like I said, um, cultural events all the time happening and just really active international student organizations as well that you can join. And now uh, the question a lot of times is what happens after graduation? Um, what can you do? Is there offers? Oh, can I stay in the Netherlands? Can I go abroad? Of course, here it says so all non-EU students uh, may remain in the Netherlands for a year after their studies to look for a job and have the opportunity to stay on a long term basis, but also the students that want to work right after graduation, because also we are in applied sciences, so you're going to come out with a lot of work experience. The employment rates are very high. So here you can see 80% within four months. So most of the time as well, when you do your internship, you're very likely to also stay within your internship and get an offer when you do a good job, of course. So uh, later on as well, for students that want to continue their studies to a master's level, TUAS is offering, um, or students have, yeah, TUAS is offering master programs as well. But then students have been welcomed at other universities across the world as well. So, yeah. Okay, now let's get to maybe the most important part, practicalities. Now, Cal calculating finances and living expenses is is quite tricky these years and especially in, in the Netherlands where we have a bit of a housing issue and you know with inflation living costs just do change a lot but we estimate that if you live a normal student life you can have living expenses of two to four hundred euros let's say if you if you manage to cook for yourself now and then and Accommodation costs of finding a shared apartment, maybe starting at 400 and then 
obviously always upwards. So shared apartments can range from 400 to 700 uh, to 800 and finding your own apartment can then obviously and will obviously be a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. Now, tuition fees. If you were to start with us in 2023, 2024, which should actually be 2024, 2025, now that I'm looking at it, as that yeah. is what, what you would be starting at, will still be the cost of 2,314. That is for EU students, which is most relevant for you. If you are applying from a non-EU country, then the cost of 9,045 euros would apply to you. Yeah. And also mm -hmm. every yes. year uh, there is a race in the tuition fee. So every year you're going to see that there's going to be a race around 100 euros or so. So just also to keep tabs on, depending on what year you want to study in, uh, there is an update and it goes up a little bit because of um yeah different inflation things. general costs, inflation yeah. and so on yes now to look at what is also important for you specifically we want to look at the german diploma admissions so for us the admissions are quite simple if you've done a fachhochschulreife or have allgemeine hochschulreife that means if you completed your abitur but generally have completed either of those you have access to both four and three year programs. That does also sometimes include, depending on if you had English within your school system, if you did take English, you may or may not have to take an extra English test, but that is then subject to your specific case. But this is quite important. That means getting into the university is not that difficult. However, it is important that within the first year you obtain enough credits to be allowed to go to the next year. So. As I said, admissions matters. Uh, if you want any more information information around this, you can find our links, you can scan the QR code, you can do all of that. As I said, there's a basic entry requirement for a uh, level of English when it comes to all of our bachelors. And the deadline for applying officially is the 1st of May. Uh, the deadline for documents, let's say if you still need some school documents, can always be pushed back, but is around the 15th of June. Accommodation, which I've mentioned already, is a bit of a tricky subject. Uh, whilst the cost is one thing, the finding is quite different, uh, difficult. And we at the Hague University of Applied Sciences don't have housing ourselves, but we work together with housing partners that reserve a certain amount of rooms for our incoming students, uh, which we can then provide them with, with the names of these incoming students. And on a first come, first serve basis, we are able to provide a number of, of our first year students with housing. Uh, so we have that housing service. For more information, you have the link again there and also with other housing providers that we can trust. Um, yeah. So given that, you know, we're making a recording, if you want <laughs> to receive any more information about us, check out our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, we're very in, we're we're very active on Instagram, so you can you can check there and look at what we do, and uh, look at what it's like to be a student here. And that would be that. Perfect. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and uh, see you then. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay.